Welcome back, YouTube family. Carl Baldessar back with another classic rock riff review. And for today's episode, we have One Hit Wonders. And this is the 1970s classic guitar riff edition. So I'm looking forward to bringing you six different bands that had their biggest hit, not necessarily their only hit, but by far and away their biggest hits, and bring you those six great guitar riffs from those six kind of one hit wonders. Let's get into this episode. Okay, for our first riff, we're going to go to February of 1970. This hit went to number 21 on the Billboard US charts. By far the band's biggest hit, the band was called Mountain. The song was called Mississippi Queen, and we have Leslie West and that iconic guitar intro, Cue the Cowbell. <laughs> Yeah, Leslie West with that incredible opening guitar riff. Notice how he has an all down pick, man, to get a really, really aggressive attack on it. And he puts a lot of wiggle on the vibrato there. Yeah, just so much attitude dripping from this riff. Mississippi Queen by Leslie West and Mountain. All right, for riff number two, we go to the 15th of May, 1970, and this band had a number two hit with this very memorable guitar riff rock song. It's the band Free, and the song is All Right Now. Let me bring you the opening riff to that great song. <laughs> What you have to appreciate about this riff from the song All Right Now is that when it first came out, we didn't have the benefit of video. None of us guitar players could really tell exactly what Paul Kossoff, the guitar player, was doing there to get that sound because he winds up having these open strings while he's playing and many people don't get the... The open G there, right? And so it was really sort of a mystery as to what he was doing during that. The other thing that's really cool, apart from that opening figure the way I played it, with the high octave E on it, he also doubles it on the left side of the stereo where he's using a low fretted A. And it sounds like this. And then, of course, we have the very memorable chorus played like this. All Right Now by the band Free, a very memorable hit. All right, for riff number three, we're gonna to go to August of 1970. This hit went to number three on the US Billboard charts. Definitely the biggest hit from the band. The song was called Green Eyed Lady. The band was Sugarloaf. And this is one of my favorite riffs of all time. Let's check it out together. <laughs> All 
That is just so much fun to play, that riff. It's really one of the most beautifully formed melodic gestures for a riff, you know, with the descending chromatic line. So great. And who doesn't love the little fill that they do at the end with the guitar? So much fun to play. Sugarloaf, Green Eyed Lady. For riff number four, we go to the Netherlands and we have a Dutch progressive rock band who in July of 1971 released a rather humorous song, at least to them, that went to number nine on the Billboard charts. And yes, it had a yodeling vocal. Can you imagine that? Anything is possible. We have the band Focus and their hit song, Hocus Pocus. Really great, check this out. The band Focus, you gotta hand it to them. They were really a great band. And even though this song was a bit of an amusing kind of song, there's still some substantial music in this. It's rather unusual to hear in this main riff these seventh chords, minor seventh and major seventh, right? So we're coming out of the opening figure on A. And then we have a minor seventh, major seventh, major seventh, major seventh. And then we have a dom seven sharp nine. That's pretty heady for just a you know a fast-paced rock song. Then they kind of alternate it with just basic power chords, same figure, but and then you go back to the minor seventh, major seventh figure. Very, very, very cool writing in this band. Hocus Pocus by Focus. Okay, for riff number five, we're going to go to February of 1972. We're going to go to the British keyboard player, Rod Argent. Rod was from the band The Zombies, and he then eventually formed the band Argent. They had their biggest hit, which went to number five, called Hold Your Head Up. It's a fantastic chord progression. I just love it. It also has a very, very famous chorus that has an often misunderstood lyric in it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's take a look at Hold Your Head Up. This song has a great chorus, and the lyric for the chorus is, hold your head up, woman. They're not actually saying, whoa, they're saying woman, and it goes like this. Yeah, hold your head up, woman, by Argent. Okay, for riff number six of our One Hit Wonders, this truly is a one hit wonder. This song in June of 1976 went to number one, certainly was a cause to love for this band, and the band is from Ohio, which is where I am from. They got their name from a box of cough drops, and in 1976, they released this disco hit called Play That Funky Music, White Boy. We have the band Wild Cherry and their number one hit. Let's check out the really catchy guitar riff, which was recorded, by the way, in Cleveland, Ohio. Here we go. <laughs> that funky music white boy there you have wild cherry representing the state of ohio fantastic riff well that wraps up our first episode on one hit guitar wonders 
this was a lot of fun and there's a whole lot more that we could be doing. So please send me some comments of other one hit wonder guitar riff songs you'd like me to cover. It'd be so much fun to do another episode on this. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank my subscribers. And remember, most of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you really want to help push this channel forward, please remember, subscribe, like, and share. And if you can hit the super thanks button, we really appreciate it. I'm Carl Baldassar, and we will see you again.